Welcome to Natty's Crafts. I'm Natalie. I'll be doing all the crafting. And today we are going to make some stuff around the house. I'm still trying to decorate my, my new house and so still trying to get some last, last details in. Uh, right now I am looking to make Kleenex box holders, which may sound old school, but it looks a lot better than having just a Kleenex box. So that's what we're gonna do today. Now, I would appreciate it if you would go ahead and give the video a big thumbs up, even if you haven't watched it yet. It's okay, it's not gonna hurt anything. As well as if you would subscribe, make sure you subscribe and click the bell because if you don't click the bell, you'll never know when a new video comes out. I'd love to get my subscribers and my views up. And then also leave a comment. I love your comments. I always try to respond as quickly as I can and I love those comments. So. We're gonna make a Kleenex box holder. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. You're gonna see me do it, so if it doesn't work out, you're gonna know, you're gonna see what happens, but we're gonna try. Let's go take a look. Here is what you're gonna need. Basically tumbling tower blocks and some glue and paint or stain. And we're gonna start off, I always like to paint or stain first, even though we are gonna glue all this together because I don't want any spots where you can see through the hot glue and you can see that it's still a light tan or whatever. I don't want to see that. So I always do this. Now, if you have bad luck painting or staining first, then by all means, do it when you're done. It would be much easier to just spray paint it when you're done than it is to stain each piece like what I'm doing. And for stain, I'm literally just using wax and water and mixing them together and then uh, rubbing it on the pieces. So we're gonna use some large craft sticks, which were those. That's what's gonna hold the box together or support the box. And then I'm gonna use the tumbling towers. And I just put these in a plastic, um, some sort of food container. I don't know, it was for biscuits or, I don't know, bars or something, I don't know. And I'm going to put the wax in and then I'm just gonna add some water. I'm real professional here, taking it out of my paintbrush cleaner. And then we're just gonna slap that all around and get all the pieces where they have some color to them. And I don't know if you watched a video a few videos back where I felt like I was painting all day But that's I'm um, here again. I feel like I was painting all day And so it is important because these are wood and we are using water It is important to let them dry before you try to glue them together And so you do want to you do want to be patient with that So after they're stained and dried then we are going to go ahead and glue them together now, what I like to do first is organize them or sort them by style. Some have absolutely no lines in them. Some have a million lines. I want that all sorted out so it looks good together. After we've got them sorted, then I'm gonna choose nine blocks that I like that look good together, and I'm gonna glue those together the long way. And for me, I'm using the tall Kleenex box, so I'm using nine blocks per row, and then three rows tall. So it's a lot of blocks, but it's good in the end. So you'll be good. <laughs> and so here I'm literally trying to figure out which block I like best because you know, these tumbling towers, they are not all square and even and all of that. So you kind of have to fiddle with them a little bit to make them all fit the way they should. So once I've got the three um, rows of nine blocks, then I'm gonna glue the three rows together. So here is the box of Kleenex I'm going to use, just a standard tall box. And so I'm just making sure that this is all going to fit properly and how to glue these together. Now I should have mentioned too, it's obviously much better if you use wood glue versus hot glue because hot glue in, I'm in Texas, it's going to melt and it's going to be a problem. But if you use wood glue, you'll be good to go longer term. So I just want to make sure they all fit and they do. So then we're going to go ahead and glue these sides together. And I'm just literally just gluing them right on the edge. Uh, two on the inside, if that makes sense, and then the two on the outside. And then here's what the top is gonna be. It's gonna be another line of nine blocks and then two blocks on each end so that there's that hole in the middle for the Kleenex. And here's the support. I did do this support on the inside of the box, but you couldn't see it, so I didn't record it but I'm just putting some popsicle sticks across where all of the uh, breaks are in the blocks. And I'm going to just glue those together so that it's a little, a little stronger and won't fall apart. 
And so literally just gonna glue them onto the edges there. Make sure the outside edge is empty because that's where we're gonna glue it to the box. And so for the top, I did use wood glue. Not sure why we didn't use it the whole time, but whatever. So wood glue on the edges there. And then I am also going to put a spot of hot glue in the corners just so that I don't have to wait, you know, 24 hours for it to be somewhat dry. So if I can get my glue gun to work, I'm just gonna go ahead and glue that. And this is the wood, the wood hot glue also I should mention. And that's it. And this is in my bedroom. It's on top of a dresser. And I, unfortunately, I'm still crying myself to sleep every day. So I need lots of Kleenex. So this is what sits on my dresser. And I think it's cute. And that's my little decorative purse and then a sign that I made way back when. And I thought that was cute. So I thank you so much for stopping by. I do hope that you're able to push the like button, leave a comment down below, and again, most importantly, subscribe. Ring the bell when you subscribe so that you know when my next video comes out. I thank you so much for stopping by, and please do remember to appreciate today. Tomorrow is never promised.